Welcome back to another episode of LA Fish Guys Aquarium Tech Talk. Today we're going to talk about water changes and in particular the differences between bulk water changes and the benefits of doing smaller incremental automatic water changes. And we're also going to install an automatic water change system, in particular the Genesis Renew. So let's start discussing the differences between bulk water changes and automatic water changes. First off, most of us do water changes. It's a pretty important part of maintaining a healthy aquarium, whether it's a fish-only system or a reef tank. Um, water changes help export nutrients. Uh, they help replenish certain elements, like trace elements and magnesium and calcium and alkalinity in some cases. Um, and most importantly, they really help maintain consistent water quality. Um, bulk water changes are also beneficial in you know, things like you know, if you've got to vacuum your sand, which if you have sand beds in your tank, exporting the waste and detritus that's in the sand is an important part of husbandry. But aside from that, you know, we have this whole new trend of doing automatic water changes, and in particular daily automatic water changes. Now, I've been in this a long time, and for a lot of years I did the bulk water changes. We changed out water every week or every two weeks, and they were pretty large water changes. Um, and while my tank was very, very healthy and reasonably stable, there are certain issues that come along with doing large water changes. In particular, your new salt water, you've got to be careful about matching temperature, pH, alkalinity, stuff like that, because if you do a large water change and your temperature doesn't match perfectly, uh, you can have a sudden shift in temperature in the tank. And when that happens, it causes stress on the tank's inhabitants, especially fish. It's a great way to instigate an ick outbreak, for example, especially if you don't maintain great quarantine practices. Um, many years back, I did a large water change on my system. Um, I didn't maintain very good quarantine practices. The large water change resulted in a very sudden temp swing because we didn't have the temperature matched properly. Uh, that sudden temp swing resulted in a nick outbreak on my system, and it was pretty devastating. Around that time, I researched automatic water changes, and reality of it is, like many of us, I'm not really a great maintenance person. And I inst installed an automatic water change system. Uh, the result was, and this is six years ago, much, much less labor on my tank, and most importantly, much greater consistency of water quality in my system. The benefits have been huge. I mean, not only is my system much cleaner and my water, you know, much more nutrient free, um, but my parameters in the tank, my magnesium, my alkalinity, my pH, are all much more consistent. You know, I don't have these sudden swings in any of the parameters that are generated by a large water change. Uh, so the end result has been that my tank and my corals, they've all thrived and ultimately been a lot happier and healthier as a result. So going back to water changes, um, we're going to really focus on automatic water changes today. Um, don't get me wrong, you know, in some cases we still need to do large water changes because as I said, husbandry is a very important factor. Um, things like vacuuming your sand and helping to export the detritus in the system. Um, can you know be augmented by your water changes. So setting that aside, uh, we're going to really focus on automatic water changes today. And there's a number of ways to go about it, a number of solutions out there. Um, things like dosing pumps, uh, whether it's a Cole Palmer type, type Master Flex pump that has dual heads, um, a Stenner dual head peristaltic pump. Um, those are two types of solutions that you can use. It will automatically change out the same amount of water um, as they're replenishing at the same time. Uh, then you have solutions if you have an apex like the apex dose and that is a dual head peristaltic pump um, that you program to change out X amount of liters or gallons a day and the peristaltic pumps will change, remove a little bit of water and add a little bit of water at a time and do that through the course of the day. Um, and there's another solution out there called the Genesis Renew which is what we're going to install today that is a solution that is designed specifically for automatic water changes um, with the Renew, it's very unique in that you can select the amount of gallons you want to change out at one time from 1 to 99. You can set it for day as a continuous water change, a daily water change, or a weekly water change, and you can set it to repeat. So, for example, if I want to change out 99 gallons at one time, I enter the 99 gallons, hit start, and it'll automatically change out 99 gallons continuously, about one gallon every three minutes, until that 99 gallons is completed. Um, if you set it for daily and you set it to repeat, you can set in whatever amount of gallons you want a day, hit start, and every day it will change out a preset amount of water. 
Now, I've used the Renew for a lot of years, and especially if you have a large water tank, a large aquarium rather, um, the Renew is very, very flexible, very easy to use, um, and really has some great features as a water change only system. So, we're going to dive into the Renew a bit here. Uh, we're going to unbox one, show you the components that go into it. After that, we're going to set up a holding tank um, that the Renew is going to draw its new salt water from. And then we're going to dive into setting up the Renew, um, running all the hoses, setting up the pumps, and an overview on how to use the system. So stay tuned as we dive into automatic water change systems. Hi there, my name's Jim Stein and you know me as the LA Fish Guy. Well, I also wear a couple of other hats. One of them is the jellyfish tank called the Jelly Aquarium, and the third is MyFishTank.com. I offer an entire line of acrylic aquariums ranging from rectangular to hexagon, flatback hex, as well as the custom curve front aquariums. There's also an entire line of stands and canopies ranging from MDF, to pine to oak with a variety of different finishes available and the website is even smart enough that you can calculate what the freight and crate charges to your location will be that's myfishtank.com do you have an aquarium question are you looking for aquatic answers just key in wetwebmedia.com wet web media has information on freshwater marine brackish, and planted aquariums. Wet Web Media is staffed by the capable Wet Web Media crew. Check today's facts, ask questions, or search keywords. That's wetwebmedia.com. Welcome back. All right, so now we're going to talk about the Genesis Renew. In particular, we're going to uh, do some unboxing here. But first, I'll tell you a little bit about Genesis Reef Systems. They're an Ohio-based company. Um, and they specialize in automatic water change solutions um, and they also have a complimentary automatic top-off system uh, that works in conjunction with the Renew. Um, so you have the Renew, which is this big box here, that's the automatic water change system, and then you've got the Storm. Um, it is a complimentary device that handles the ATO and essentially what it does is it'll ensure that while we're changing out water, because the Renew changes out one gallon at a time, the automatic top-off is paused during that time. Now in our case, we're using a Neptune Apex and we've already got an automatic water um, top-off system that's set up with it. Um, and that top-off system is programmed to require the float switches to be um, in a certain state for three minutes before it'll trigger the automatic top-off, uh, which works in our favor because this system will change out one gallon every two to three minutes, uh, which allows for enough time for the water change to complete before a top off is triggered. Therefore, in our case, we don't really need to worry about um, the automatic top off triggering while we're doing a water change. But the storm is a great way um, to add an automatic top off to your system in conjunction with an automatic water change um, system. So, first thing we're going to talk about is the Renew. We're going to open up the box. Um, it's a very unique system. Um, one of the uh, you know pitfalls of some automatic water change systems is they do use peristaltic pumps that need calibration, um, like the liter meter is an example. It's a small peristaltic pump uh, that happens to require calibration, and calibration isn't a big deal, but it is something that should be done on a semi-regular basis to avoid changing out or adding more water than you're taking out or taking out more water than you're putting in. Um, 
reason being is that you end up with salinity drift. And salinity drift, you know, you don't want to be chasing salinity. So Genesis has done something very unique. Um, they use these one gallon metering bins here. Um, and this bin here ensures that exactly one gallon is taken out and exactly one gallon is put in. And there's two separate metering bins, one for new salt water and one for wastewater. Um, open up the Renew here and show you what's inside of it. Uh, take a little rubber thing off and the lid. Uh, there's two standpipes in there. Um, each one of these metering bins has three connections. One connection that water goes in through, one connection which is an overflow connection that goes back to the source water. So for example, if this bin here is used for new salt water, you have one connection here that's connected to the pump in the new salt water bin, another connection here that goes back to the new salt water bin that serves as an overflow, and then of course the line that goes to your sump um, that water drains through. And essentially water will come in through the bottom into the metering bin, and once the bin fills up, um, you know, there's flow switches in here to determine when it's filled up. It'll go slightly um, a little bit longer so that water overflows back into the source water thing to ensure that this bin is exactly filled up. Now, when we install this um, metering bin or when we install both metering bins, it's critical that we get them perfectly level because if it's to one side or the other, they may not change out the exact amount, but we have levels for that solution. So, again, inside the metering bin, we've got two standpipes. One, where the new water comes in and overflows into the bin, and another one where the new water can overflow back to the source to ensure that we have a perfect one gallon water in here. Uh, so we have two metering bins in the box, metering bin one and metering bin two. Uh, we have our Renew controller This is the brains behind the unit here. Um, on the bottom we have two pump ports, one for new salt water and one for wastewater. Um, so essentially we can pump a gallon out of the sump and a gallon out of the new salt water bin. Um, it controls those pumps. It's got a nifty little display there that tells us the amount of gallons that we want to change, whatever we've got a program for. We have our mode button here um, that you select whether you want a continuous water change, a daily water change, or a weekly water change. And however we have it set, whatever number of gallons we have it set for, uh, if it's set for continuous, it'll change out that many gallons at one time. If you have it set for daily, and we have it set, you know, say five gallons, for example, it will change out five gallons a day, and it divides it up over the course of a 24-hour period. If you have it set for weekly, it'll change out, say, if you have it set for seven gallons, as an example, it'll change out one gallon per day for seven days. And then if you have it set for repeat, it'll repeat that every week. Um, so this is our controller here um, and at the end of this once we get everything set up we'll go through the basic setup and how to use it but essentially there's that. Um, and here we've got some float switches. Now float switches are essentially to shut the Renew off. Um, it also comes with some hardware to mount the float switches. Um, and so if, for example you, we use the float switch in the sump uh, if the sump is ever too low, the Renew will stop functioning. Um, if you have the flow switch set up in your new saltwater holding tank and the holding tank gets too low, it shuts the Renew off. Um, for most installations, it's a very, very nice feature because if you don't pay attention to your new saltwater holding tank, you don't want your pumps running dry. Um, if there's an issue and you, for some reason, drain your sump too low, you don't want your wastewater pump running dry. So. Nice little feature of the Renew, it also comes with little brackets to mount uh, the float switches. Um, in our case, we're using an Apex, so this won't be necessary, and we're also going to be using a new saltwater bin that is 100 gallons, and uh, it's never going to run dry. But nice little feature about the Renew there, it's got some float switches there um, to make sure that you don't run pumps dry. It also comes with a pair of pumps, in this case they're Eheim Compact 1000 pumps. Um, not a very expensive pump, but Eheim makes quality pumps. I've been using the same pumps now for five years, haven't done any maintenance and I've never had a problem. But you can also adjust the amount of flow with these pumps, which is good because you don't want too much water going into the metering bins at one time. So we have two pumps, there's also some little valves that come with the Renew, uh, and these little valves allow us to again to control the flow without having to mess with the pump. So that essentially 
we don't have too much water going in with the renew. And the idea being is that we want to fill up the metering bin in about one minute or less. Also comes with some instructions, um, some mounting templates for our metering bins that will come in handy a little bit later, a little mounting template for our renew controller. And lastly, we're going to talk about Storm. Storm, again, is the automatic water top-off solution that works in conjunction with the Renew. Um, it's very similar to the Renew in that you've got the same kind of interface, a little bit different buttons. But this, essentially with a cable, will plug directly into our Renew controller. Uh, the Renew will recognize that we've got the storm attached um, and with that it will automatically pause the water change when it's doing an automatic water, excuse me, it will automatically pause the top off to ensure that we're not adding fresh water while we're doing a water change. Uh, the other nice thing is that you can increase or decrease um, the amount of time between top offs um, it'll support different pumps, although the Storm does come with another Eheim pump for your top off. It also includes float switches for your sump to detect when the sump is, you know, down on water, so it knows exactly when to add water. So it's got the little float switches. Again, it also includes mounts for the float switches. So if you're looking into a Genesis Renew, I highly recommend that you consider the Storm as it's a very complimentary product. And between the two solutions, it solves a major issue. I mean, let's face it, we all have evaporation from our tanks, and we all need to dump in new water consistently to maintain consistent sump levels. If you have an internal protein skimmer, well, you know that if the sump level changes, so does the way the skimmer performs. Uh, maintaining consistent sump levels is very important to maintaining consistent skimmer performance. So automatic top-offs are a very, very important thing when it comes to maintaining consistent tank health and consistent tank operation. So with that, we've covered both the Renew, we've covered the Storm. Uh, the next step is going to be to get into the garage and start setting up the new saltwater tank. So stay tuned as we dive into setting up the automatic water change system.